Uh, good morning, my name is Benjamin Torres. I'm the president and CEO of CD Tech. We're a community and economic development organization based in South Los Angeles. And CD Tech is engaged with Smoke Free Apartments LA initiative because it's at, a, it's at the center of why we help engage residents in the process of transforming and revitalizing their communities to create healthy and vibrant neighborhoods where public spaces, families, and small businesses can thrive. We believe there is a critical balance between economics, civic engagement, and community health. We have, a large, we have a larger percentage of health risks in South LA from the pollution in the air to brownfields in the ground, lack of access to health services, and a lack of healthy quality goods and services that are options in our neighborhoods. CD Tech is concerned about the relationship between poverty, tobacco use, and access in low-income areas around South LA in particular. Many of our low-income households, according to the World Health Organization report, spend up to 10% of their household income on tobacco products. When you connect that fact to that the same neighbor, the same households are at national poverty levels, you can see that smokers place their risk, uh, smokers place their families at risk at, cri at critical levels, and many people sometimes have to make choices between tobacco and essential products like food, health services, or transportation. When you pair these realities with the over-concentration of tobacco products available through convenience stores in low-income areas, you can see why the residents and advocates we spoke to are alarmed and want to truly get involved in this issue. Our team of community engagement specialists spoke to more than 700 apartment tenants in South LA's 8th and 9th council districts, and the majority of them indicated they would like to live in smoke-free multi-unit housing, as you've heard over and over this morning. Smoking affects families in South LA in large numbers for several reasons. It impacts individual and community health. It impacts low-income families' pocketbooks, their wallets, and because of the costs associated with tobacco. And it limits other residents' ability to be civically engaged because people sometimes feel afraid to communicate or get engaged in conversations around secondhand smoke. People want to take leadership on an issue like secondhand smoke. Elders many times are intimidated and non-smoking households feel restrained to speak out because of the blatant tobacco use in their buildings. Through this outreach and education process, residents are taking back not only their power as community leaders, but their health by standing together to declare that we need to ban smoking for multifamily housing units. In South LA's low-income communities, where we are already at a high level of health disparities, we must all work together to improve our health by eliminating our exposure to secondhand smoke in multifamily units that both endanger the lives of all tenants and economically challenge our families and children. Thank you very much. Bravo.